Hello children, good morning, good afternoon, good evening whenever you are watching my video and on this glorious morning I welcome you all in your class, class 6. In today's class we are going to do les articles indéfinis which means uh, indefinite articles. In French we have uh, different articles according to the gender, right? Uh, like in French we have uh, a and the these are called articles and uh, we don't uh, use these articles according to the gender of the noun but in French we have articles which go according to the gender system of the nouns right so let's start the topic and after that I will explain how to use and how to learn and what would be the benefit afterwards when we are going to do French later. Right? So let's start the class. So in today's class we are going to do les articles indéfinis which means the indefinite articles right so what are these articles so be careful and listen uh, or and uh, people call it uh or uh. how do you pronounce it uh. Then, in, in, I don't know how to write properly in, in Hindi because there is uh, no proper uh, translation or transcription you can say uh, which we call a or in. Right? One is called translation and one transcription. Transcription, uh, the sound that we capture, how to write that sound in, in the other language, that called transcription. Right? Uh, so, I am writing in Hindi so that you should understand how to speak it. In. Right? I am explaining how to use it. Then they, D E S, they. So these are called indefinite articles or les articles indéfinis. Now, how to use it and what mean by these articles? I hope you have written the transcription. Un et une. They both means either a or a and an. Right? E a can be a and an both. You can be a or an both. Right? A which means a or an can be used with a noun which is a masculine gender noun, right? A noun which is masculine according to the gender, we use an with that. If I want to say a pen. In English, we don't have genders, but in French, in Hindi, we do have, right? In regional languages, you can see we have uh, streeling pulling or gender system masculine or feminine, right? Uh, there, we don't uh, use these, in English, we don't use these articles according to the gender of the noun, but in French, we do. So, a we use with the masculine noun, un with you, we use with the feminine noun. But singular. Right? 
but singular. That should be singular noun. Okay? And then we have they. We use it with the plural noun. Whether it is masculine or feminine, we, we use it with a plural noun. Right? Suppose if I want to say a boy. Boy is masculine, then we use a garso. Right? Then un fi, a girl. Then some students. Des étudiants. Right? So I am writing few examples here. You can note down. If I want to say a boy, a garçon, right? G R G A R S O N. Sorry, C O N. C will take sedi. This uh, accent we have already done. Then we have even fi. Even fi a girl. Here we have a boy. Then though it is even but we are using a girl. Right? If I want to say few students then we use they Zitudion. Right? With S. How to make it plural? With S. Your noun should be having S at the end if you want to make it plural. So, A or an, A or an, then few. Now, how do we use it? Where do we use indefinite articles? Because we are going to use these articles till 8th. So, you should be clear with the topic very well. How to use these articles? If your noun is not having any specification, I am repeating, if your noun is having no specification, then we use indefinite article. Suppose if I am saying, this is a girl. We are not knowing anything about that girl. She is just a girl. We don't know she is Indian, French, Italian. We don't know. She is uh, studying in which school or in which university or in which class. She belongs to which religion. We don't know anything. So, we are not knowing the specifications about a noun. There we use indefinite article. Nouns without any specification takes indefinite articles. Right? One more benefit is whenever you are learning the vocab, you just see an or un that will clarify whether it's a masculine noun or feminine noun. So from today onwards, whenever you are doing vocab, you have to see whether it's a masculine noun or a feminine noun. Uh, for the reason when we are going to do the further grammar rules, there we are going to use everything according to the gender of the noun. So it's the basic of French. You have to go through. Right? So in today's class we learned what are the indefinite articles. They are a, un, de, a for masculine singular noun, un for feminine singular noun, and de for the plural noun. A and un means a or an, de means few. De means few, right? And we use indefinite articles 
with the nouns which are not having any specification so that's all for today we are going to do the uh, exercises related to this topic in the next class or we'll start the next topic so you have to revise this topic go through if you are facing any problem or you are not getting anything do call me or do message me on my personal video and uh, as you are knowing you have you are going to have your classes uh, from the next week every uh, week you are going to have one class with me uh, there also you can uh, uh, put your doubts in front of me and you can get the queries or you can get them solved right uh, right on the spot so all the very best uh, jot down your doubts so and uh, i am ready for that bombardment so till then bye bye take care stay safe